Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on manipulating vectors. If you're sitting a foundation tier exam, this video will cover every skill that you need on vectors, but if you're going to sit a higher tier exam, there are lots of other skills that you'll need to know as well. So the first skill I'm covering here is writing vectors in terms of other vectors and we're looking at them on a grid, um, on a diagram. So here it says, write each of the vectors C, D and E in terms of A and R, B. So using this vector here, this one here represents A and this here is B, we've got to write all of these other three vectors. So a vector, it's not only a size, it's not only a distance, but it's in a certain direction as well. So they've got these arrows on to denote the direction as well. So this is A in this direction. So I'm going to write on as well, if I know A is that, then this here, I'm going to put an arrow on as well, this will be minus A. It's the same size, it's just the opposite direction. And similar for B, then this and this arrow going downwards, this will be minus b. So let's look at these other vectors I've got and see if we can write them in terms of a and b. So I've got c first here down at the bottom, and if we look, c just goes straight across, and it goes across three times, and it goes across in the same direction as a. It's just uh, horizontal, but it's three times. So c is just three times a. So I can just write that as C is 3A. Now D is slightly different. D goes diagonally across like this. Now how can I make D out of what I've got, which is A and B, and I've got minus A and minus B as well? Well, if we look, I could write D to get from there to there. I could go across one and up one instead. Now that across one there is A, and this up here, this up direction, is B. So D is the same, going across here, across D, is the same as going A, then B. So I can write D as A plus B. And then finally E, which is the trickiest one, don't be fooled in thinking that because it's going down like this that it's minus b, it's not. Minus b is this direction, so minus b is like this, it's not quite the same. So let's have a look, how else can I get from this point here to this point instead of just going through there? Can I do it using my a and b? Well yes I can, I can go straight across like that, and that would be a, and then I'd have to go down like this which would be minus b. So e, this here, is the same as going a and then minus b. So it's a minus b. Here's the other skill that can test, and this is adding and subtracting and multiplying vectors. So you've probably seen these column vectors before. We use them when we do transformations of shapes and when we're translating a shape from one place to another on a grid. And these are the same vectors that we're talking about here. So this says work out B minus 2A. So I'm just going to write that out. B minus 2A. So B is just that column vector there they've given me. So I can write 4, 2 take away two lots of, and A is 3 minus 7. Now this really is as easy as you think it is. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do two lots of everything in column vector A. So I'm going to do 6 and minus 14. So that's two lots of A. And then to subtract them from each other, I just subtract the top two numbers from each other, so that's 4 take away 6, which is minus 2, and then I do 2 take away minus 14, so that's 2 minus minus 14, which is the same as 2 plus 14, so that's 16. And that's my answer. So they really are as simple as you think, they're not complicated at all. Here's a few questions for you to try. 
Um, this is new to the new GCSE for foundation, so it's not something that's come up very often yet. It's only come up on the specimen papers. So this is the pretty much the only other question that I could find on it. So have a go at writing P as a column vector. So how would you write this in a column vector notation? And then can you have a go at working out what Q plus R is? If you pause the video, you can unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the full solutions. So P as a column vector, if you think about when we translate a shape from one location to another, this would be 2 right and 3 up. So we write that as a column vector as 2, 3. And then here to work out Q plus R, we just add together the top numbers and add together the bottom numbers. So you should have got 3, 1. Thank you for watching.